I want to talk about Jalen Dern a little bit. Ivy came with the expectation, number five overall pick. Uh, I gave him very high comp praise before the draft along with you. I know you, it was him and Sharp, I believe, were your two guys, and Benedict Matherin. Yep. Those were the three we were really talking about at the time. But yep. regardless, you, you know how I feel about Ivy. Mm-hmm. There aren't, and I, please hear me out and let me finish before you like jump the gun on this one. I'm not saying he will be Dwight Howard. But there aren't many Dwight Howards, you know, back in his prime day, that will work out in today's NBA. Right. Right? right. That doesn't exist. And when I look for a comp, I've always said Robert Williams. Best case scenario on defense and then higher upside offensively. So I'm not sure where to draw comp for a Jalen Dern. But where does his future take him, man? Because it's only a one-game snippet. But you see how dominating he is in the post. Yep. You see the presence he brings. The defense completely changes. He can run the court. Deadly in the fast break. Pick and roll, defense, pick and roll offense, he'll get better at over time. He's a rookie. He's 18 years old, by the it's, way. Yeah, it's first but game. I, I think you get where I'm going here. Yeah, we're going to talk about Ivy for years to come. You might have another dude. Mm-hmm. <sighs> wow. And this is why Troy, you know, was debating on taking him at five. Like that was that was the, the reporting that came out after they took Ivy and they took Duran. Well, it was arguable that Troy Weaver could have actually just take, taken him at five if if the Kings took him at four. So, listen, Troy knows what he's doing. And for a player that's really the youngest in the NBA at 18 years old, the fact that he was able to play 22 minutes and make an impact right away. I mean, he he had 10 rebounds in 22 minutes. Like the guy's averaging basically two rebounds a minute. I mean, that's impressive. And he had five offensive rebounds. We talked about it yesterday. But it's his impact at, that he can have at such a young age that I think brings a lot of potential to this Detroit Pistons team. Like last year, they struggled. They didn't have the size. They didn't have a, a Nerlens Noel, Jalen Duran. Isaiah Stewart was out there playing center most of the time. You had Trey Lyles before you had Marvin Bagley playing center. So it's big, man. And, and to get a guy like Jalen Duran, who you know people debated on if he should go to the G League, for 18 years old, Adam, what he can do is what he does, fit, being physically imposing, running the floor. It's not even as much offensively, but his impact on the Pistons is going to be defensively. Like, there's a reason why he had the highest plus minus. It's, it, and you saw the impact watching it in person. As soon as Dern would leave the floor and Isaiah would come in, yes, you have shooting with Isaiah Stewart, but you could see defensively they, they struggled. And again, for, 18, for an 18-year-old kid, to have that type of impact in his first NBA game, it's impressive. It really is. And I know Terry talked about it on, on Big D yesterday. He's like, I want to see him play against grown men. I yeah, think, but I think still, he'll be fine. I think he'll be just fine. I, even honestly, when he, yeah. he has I'm a grown worried. man's body. Right. I'm Wait till he's 21 worried. years old. Exactly. I'm not worried. Sky's the limit for him. I, 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 want it, I agree. Sky is the limit. But I'm also... Again, I'm going to bring back up Dwight Howard because I think it's clearly the most obvious comp at age, size, build, yada, yada, yada. Dwight Howard in the early to mid-2000s doesn't translate, and hear me out, as effectively as he would in today's NBA, correct? That's just the nature of it. So how does Jalen Duran develop into an all-star caliber player? We're talking... One of the better defenders in the game, who has adopted a pick and roll game where he's basically a free bucket with an alley oop. Right. He somehow develops a 12, 14 foot jump shot and he increases his repertoire in the post. And that's where he can become a 12, 14, 16 a night guy. Was the 14 an aberration? I do think so, given how young he is. I think he's more of 8 and 8, 6 and 9 a night. I don't see him being double digits every night in terms of scoring. Yeah, no, me but, either. Offensively is so where he's got to grow. You see where I'm going, though. You see a Rudy Gobert. Where where can I draw the comp for Duran to be in five, six years? That's so far ahead, I know. But right. my point is, we think his guy, the, the future is so bright. But what does the future look like? Because I know it's not going to be Dwight Howard. 
Can he be a four-time defensive player of the year? I doubt it. No. And listen, now, could he be one of the better defenders in the league? I think so. Mm-hmm. 